Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 10 e-commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about add product to wishlist. So let's see how can we add product to wishlist. First of all, let's create a new controller for the wishlist. So go to the command prompt and run the command php artisan make call and controller a space controller name and uh, let's say controller name is a wishlist controller okay now hit enter now run the application so write a php artisan serve all right now let's open the wishlist controller so go to the app directory and then http controllers and from here let's open this one wishlist controller and now inside this controller let's create a function for adding the product to the wishlist so right here from public function and function name and product to wishlist okay and now just pass here the request dollar request and inside this function just add here the card and also import here so right here use card then now set the instance column column instance instance name is your list and then call the add method and inside this add method, add method just pass here the product id name quantity or price okay so right here dollar request arrow id product id dollar request arrow name and quantity one and then pass here the price so right here dollar request arrow price and also associate with the product model so right here associate and pass here the path of the model product model so right here app slash models slash product okay now just return the response as a JSN so right here arrow JSN and inside the jet this JSN just pass here the status the status and message so right here status which is 200 and uh, message inside this message just write here the success success item successfully added to your wish list or oh, add here the arrow sign not column sign okay now save this file and uh, now let's create the route for this function so go to the web.php file and uh, here let's add a new route so right here route column column method post add the uri with list slash add and then add the controller inside the big bracket with list controller colon colon class and inside the single quote just pass here the function name which is this one add product to this list and also give the route name so right here name this list dot restore okay now save this file now go to the swap view files swap.blade.php files so just go inside the resources directory and uh, views 
and from here let's open this one soft.play.php file and inside this file uh, let's add here inside this post directive let's create a javascript function so right here function and uh, function name let's function name is add product to this list and inside this function just pass here the id name quantity and price now inside this function uh, let's make a ajax call so right here dollar dot ajax and uh, inside this just pass here type method name which is the post and url just pass here the url inside the double quote double query packet route and route name which is this list dot store okay now pass here the data in data first of all pass here the token so right here inside double quote underscore token and pass here double curly bracket csrf underscore token and now pass the id so right here id name quantity price okay and now after this data just add here the success and function and pass the data if ajax is success then uh, check here if data dot status is equal to 200 then uh, just notify the message so right here dollar dot notify and inside this pass an object here icon fa f a dash check another one which is title success and one more which is message item successfully added to your list Okay, now add here the semicolon. Also add here some semicolon. Okay, now let's copy this function name. And, and from here, let's call this function. So from this hot icon, so inside the for each loop, let's find the wishlist icon. Here is the wishlist item, okay, icon. So from this icon, just add here the on click event and call this function and pass here the id so right here double curly bracket dollar product arrow id then name so right here product uh, for passing the name add here the comma then single quote and then double curly bracket dollar product arrow name okay now pass here the quantity so add here one then price so right here dollar product arrow the regular price okay now save this file
now uh, let's display here the guest list count here so go to the layout files so just go inside the resources directory views layouts and open base.blade.php file and inside this file uh, let's display here the guest list count so right here double curly bracket card colon colon instance and add here the instance name we will use this list and then call the content method so right here arrow content and now call the count method okay now it's done so save this file Okay, let's check this. So switch to the browser and refresh the page. All right, now let's add product to the wish list. So I right, uh, click on this icon. You can see here added. And you can see here the wish list count here. Okay. Now add, uh, now add one more product to the wish list, add it and if I refresh the page, you can see here the wish list item which is full. Okay, now uh, let's create one more function for updating this wish list count. So go to the shop view file and inside this file, uh, first of all, uh, let's create a method inside the sub controller so go to the sub controller and uh, here let's create another function public function and function name uh, let's say function name is get card and wish list count And here let's create a two variable dollar card card count is equal to card colon colon instance and first count the instance of the cards so write your card then call here the method contained arrow count okay now let's copy this and paste here change the variable name and just write here with list count and also change the instance with list and now just return as your response json response right here response json and inside the big bracket just pass in the status 200 and card count dollar card count and also pass in the wish list count wish list count dollar wish list count okay now save this file now let's create the route for this function so let's copy this function name and go to the wave.php file and here let's create a new route so right here route colon colon get and add the uri part this list count add the controller name which is the sub controller column column class add the function name which is this one and uh, give the route name so write your name sub dot 
part dot this list count okay now go to the swap dot play dot php file and here let's create one more function for getting the card count so write here function get card and this list count and inside this make the just ajax call so right here dollar ajax and type is equal to get method name is get okay and url which is this one so let's copy this route name first header the route and then route name this one okay and now add the success function and pass here the data and inside this add the if condition if data dot status uh, is equal to 200 then let's copy this id this one first copy the card count so right here dollar this one dot well so html and inside this just pass here data dot card count okay now let's copy and paste here and change the id so let's copy this id this list dash count this list count okay now let's copy this function name and call from the, uh, from this uh, this function so after this if just call the function get cart and business count okay and now save this file now it's done so let's check this so switch to the browser and just refresh the page now let's add this product to the wish list so click on this icon you can see here the message and okay card count is not updated so let's check the console add this product to the wish list okay here is the error internal server error card not found okay inside this uh, swap controller just import here the card so right here use card okay and now just refresh the page and uh, let's check one more time so just add this one added and you can see here the item count which is six product in this list okay try one pro more product to add to this list so just click on this icon add it and you can see here the product 7 in this list okay so in this way you can add product to the wish list so that's all about adding product to the wish list don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching